Hi, and welcome to my channel. So if you think that by applying for jobs and applying literally for all jobs online, you're going to have more chances for success, I'm here to tell you that that is not true. The more jobs you're applying for, the less chances you have to succeed. Yes, 100% legit. And I'm saying this to you. And look, I'm going to get to all the details. In this video, I'm going to be telling you three things that you must have perfectly right to enhance your chances, to increase your chances of getting any job that you want. If you do these three things perfectly well in the order that I'm going to tell you, look, you're going to increase your chances of success from 0.0001% to 99.999%. If you miss out any of these things that I'm going to tell you, or you don't do all three of them in the order that I'm going to tell you, look, you can be rest assured that your chances to succeed are going to be very low. And look, if you're watching my videos, I want you to succeed. If you're watching my videos, I want you to excel. I want you to thrive because as you know, I'm all about everything career progression. I'm all about having you having the best life for yourself, the best jobs that you want and that you deserve because and by the way, if you're new to the channel, you know, it's such a pleasure to have you. If you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate your time that you take to watch all these videos. I hope you're enjoying the content. I hope that you find it helpful. And I hope most importantly that you're implementing because truth be told, I'm not here to do these videos for you to just sit and say, oh, now we just dropped another video on YouTube again. There she goes. Mm -mm, I need implementation. So I want you to leave a comment in the comment section and say, look, Melvis, I will implement. So let's get started. And also one thing, by the way, if you haven't joined my newsletter, I have a newsletter where I will send you the best opportunities in the UK, any offers that I've got going. So you want to join that newsletter right now. Check in the comment section, join it. And if you've got any private questions you want to ask me as I'm going forward, <laughs> look, you can use that to do that. So let's get started. Three things that you must do in this particular order to succeed. The first thing is, who are you? You need to know who you are. <laughs> Look, you may be surprised. Many of us don't know who we are. Mm -hmm. What do I mean? Do you have experience? Do you have a degree? What do you want? Who are you? If you've got a degree and you've got experience, then you're kind of leaning towards a skilled worker visa. If you've got no degree, no experience, you're kind of leading, leaning towards the unskilled worker visa. So that's the first thing you need to establish. And let me give you an example. The next thing that you need when you are looking at who you are is, it's not only about like, have you got the degree or not? The next thing therefore is, are they looking for people in those positions? Let me give an example. If you have experience and a degree in say criminology and you're overseas and you want to move to the UK, is the UK recruiting people from overseas with a criminology degree? Yes or no? That's part of knowing who you are. If the answer is yes, good and fine. If they're offering sponsorship, obviously that's fine. You can apply for that. You're still a skilled worker visa pathway. If the answer is no, then automatically you're going to go around the unskilled worker pathway. Because if you have experience in something and a degree in something, you want to move to the UK and the UK is not recruiting in those roles or they're not offering sponsorship and you keep applying for jobs saying that you're not successful, it doesn't make any sense. Of course, you're not going to be successful because nobody's offering sponsorship in that thing. And that's why when you're thinking about, you know, who you are, if you send a message to me saying, oh, Melvis, I'm looking for a job in the UK. And I'm like, what job? And people are like, any job. And I'm thinking, what does any job mean? The UK is currently recruiting doctors, they're recruiting pharmacists, they're recruiting carers, nurses, fruit pickers, cleaners, nannies. Who are you? So you need to know exactly who you are. Very important. And look, if you're not skilled, then that's the unskilled worker pathway. And look, the unskilled worker pathway is a whole kind of worms that I don't even want to open because that one is more complex. Because if you're a skilled worker, it's a lot easier. Because for example, if you're a nurse, you know that there's a specific pathway to work in the UK as a nurse. That's easy. If you're a doctor, there's a specific pathway. If you're an engineer, there's a specific pathway. But if you're unskilled, oh my goodness, that is where everything is like in limbo. And by the way, in case you're wondering who I am and it's your first time here, my name is Melvis. I currently work for the NHS as an advanced nurse practitioner. I also have a private career coaching service where I support with getting the best jobs in the UK, the best opportunities in the UK. You want to study nursing. You want to get into known clinical healthcare roles. You want to get into clinical healthcare roles. You want to get care jobs. Look, 
am your girl you I have a private coaching program you definitely 100 percent want to check that out if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, that is how you do it by joining my program otherwise i'm more than happy to do these videos to make sure that they help you and give you those tips that you need but like i say to work with me one-on-one -on -one, you need to be a part of my private coaching program because we really get to know each other i get to know your situation who are you and we can establish all of that together and if you haven't subscribed to the channel again I have no idea what to say to you are you serious about this journey are you not serious you don't want to be a stranger on here so please please join the family so that's the first point knowing who you are and if you're going through the unskilled worker pathway like i've said that one is more complex because they are recruiting nannies they're recruiting cleaners they're recruiting housekeepers they're recruiting security men they're recruiting all sorts of roles and that is more difficult because i don't want you telling me that you're ready for any job you need to find out what do you want. That's the second thing. Once you know who you are, the next thing is what do you want? And so if, if it's the unskilled worker pathway, you need to decide. Do you want to be a carer? Do you want to come as a housekeeper? Do you want to do the fruit, the season of fruit thing? What do you want to do? If you're all over the place trying to apply for every job or somebody drops a video on here about this opportunity, you rush in, you're like, oh my God, I'm going to apply. It makes it very difficult. It may seem as if it's easy. But it's difficult and that's because you don't have a mastery in all those different sectors you don't have a grasp on all those different industries because if you're looking for an opportunity as a carer if you decide like i'm going to go to the uk as a carer you're more likely to succeed when you choose that one thing you know why because specialization is key you're going to be focusing all your energy all your information gathering on that specific pathway mm -hmm. it makes it a lot easier which means that when you see positions and when you see opportunities that are looking for a carer you're going to say to yourself this is what i want you're going to be adapting your cv to the carer you know job and you're going to be looking for those opportunities you have a focus point but if you're all over the place again you see the fruit you're like oh my god i can pick fruit you see the nanny you're like oh my god i'm a nanny today i've got lots of experience i love this job you see the the you know the security one you're like oh my goodness melvis i can do security you see a driver position you're like oh my goodness i'm a hundred percent a driver I'm like, girl, boy, what are you doing? You need to reduce your, you know, when you're looking for all those different opportunities, it does not include, increase your chances. It reduces them because you're all over the place, struggling and suffering from shiny object syndrome. That's how I call it. Shiny object syndrome is all a distraction. You're distracted. Focus your search. Focus your mind. It does not reduce your chances, but it increases your chances because your search, your experience, your energy is focused towards a particular goal that you're working towards. Very, very important. And look, I'm not just saying this from space. I've tried this with my career. Works perfectly well every time. The more specialized you are, not only are you going to earn more money, but look, you're going to be more wanted because all your energy is focused towards one goal. Mm -hmm. I'm a nurse practitioner. I specialize only on surgery, not just any surgery, but I specialize in abdominal surgery and breast surgery, which means if I have a patient who's had a knee replacement or who needs a knee replacement, I don't see them. If I have a patient who's had problems with their eyes and they need surgery, I don't see them. I only see patients who've got something to do with the abdomen. So breast and abdomen, that is all very highly specialized and look that's why my job is very highly paid so i'm sharing these tips it's not things that i'm saying from space i'm saying all these out of experience because i'm implementing these in my career as well when i'm applying for jobs i don't have many opportunities if i go now and i look online in the uk i'm probably not going to find three positions that are recruiting for my job i cannot find three i may not even find any but does this make me in a disadvantaged position? It doesn't. Actually, it means that I can command, you know, higher pay. I can command higher prices. And that's how it works. So you want to specialize. You want to be niche. Yes, you can open your mind to other opportunities. But you need to be very good and very smart in how you present yourself. Otherwise, you're going to struggle. Because if you're doing a CV for a fruit picker, it's very different from a CV, you know, for somebody who is a nanny. Again, that CV is very different for somebody who is working in security. Again, it's very different for somebody who is applying for non-clinical jobs. So you need to be really careful how you present yourself. So that's the second thing. The third thing is what do they want? So once you've decided who you are, what do they want? You need to then find out what the employers want. If you don't know what the employer wants, you cannot apply for the job. And look, I don't want to see you, if you're watching these videos, I don't want to see you 
rushing online and saying, oh, where are the links to apply for the jobs? You need to know what the job is about. You need to know the information. What is the employer looking for? What is the recruiter looking for? You must know that applying for jobs, it is a science, it is a process, it is an art, it is a skill. It is not something that is random. You can be random and happen to succeed, but you're not going to go find your career. And look, if you're watching my videos, I want you to excel. I want you to thrive. I want you to have the best career that you can possibly have. I don't want you being in a job that you're just managing like, oh, Melvis, you know, I've got this. No, you need to be excelling. And that's why people that are part of my private coaching program, I keep telling them, you never have to settle for anything less than what you rightfully deserve you know, to have. And if you're in a country like the UK, which is full of opportunities, which is full of, you know, things that you can do to excel, there is no excuse to be in a job that is not right for you. There's no excuse. I'm sorry. There's absolutely no excuse. And I'm, and I mean what I'm saying. If you're in a job that is not right for you, don't blame anybody else. It's your fault. I'm sorry. It is your own fault because there's all resources that you have. There's a lot of support out there. You can go out of your comfort zone to get what you deserve. So if you're looking for a job, the first thing is, who are you? The second thing is, what do you want? The third thing is, what does the person recruiting want? You need to have those three things perfectly right, perfectly aligned for you to even think of actually applying for the job. And look, you know, I'm tired of people just rushing. It's not a race for who is going to apply for the most jobs. You want to apply for the jobs that are perfect for you. You want to land that job. You want to stay motivated through this process. And for you to stay motivated, you need to be following the right process. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm telling you. If you haven't joined my newsletter again, I don't know. Leave a comment in the comment section. Say, Melvis, I will implement. What have you been doing? Have you been following this process when you're looking for jobs? Have you not? If you haven't, what have you been doing differently? Do you think these tips I'm telling you are going to help? And I'm telling you that I help people in the UK get very senior positions. And look, I know what I'm talking about. Career progression is something that I absolutely enjoy. It's something that is a passion for me. It's something that I learn, I study. I have over 36 ebooks, you know, right now that talk about productivity, progression, self-improvement, you know, all those sorts of things. And I have mentors who support me that I look up to through these processes. That's what you need. It is difficult to just do things in any way and begin to succeed. It's going to be hard. Yes, you can get through one stage, but it's going to be difficult to really excel. And that's why you see that many people are struggling to find jobs. And even when they do, they still struggle to excel. It's because all of this is an art. It's not just a coincidence. Um, that you get the job and then that's it you need to put in a lot of effort so thank you for watching the video i've done videos about all sorts of things interview tips interview preparation opportunities in the uk how to work online set up a side business so you want to check those out in the channel hit subscribe join my newsletter i'll see you in the next video thank you